Hey everyone, Rob from Southgate Media Group here. Before we get started with this podcast, we have a quick message. If this is your first time checking out the show, we love that you found us and we really hope you enjoy it. What we have to say is for the subscribers. If you enjoy our shows, would you please donate to help keep these going? We don't want to have to put traditional ads on these shows, but this does cost money. So we really do rely heavily on donations. To make a donation to the show, please go to our website, www.southgatemediagroup.com. Go to the page for the show, and in the upper right-hand corner is a Donate button. It takes you right to PayPal, and you can donate whatever amount you want. Thanks a lot for listening, everybody. And now, on with the show. And I'm Ricky. Up for discussion today is episode two of Heroes Reborn Dark Matter prequel webisode CD. It was directed by Tanner King, written by Zach Crayley, and uh, the synopsis for it is Clinton encourages Phoebe to continue documenting her story when she begins college, where she becomes fast friends with her roommate Allie. As Phoebe powers grow, she discovers that there's much more to her ability than she initially realized. But Quentin's worried that it may be uh, going to do some running commentary. Five, four, three, two, one, play. This, like, history repeating itself is kind of obviously a thing about racism and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah. Well, it's more like the Holocaust thing. I think yeah. Two years ago. Make note of that timeline. I know. I got all confused, but yeah. Um, the uh, I only realized this on like the second viewing, that this is like a found footage kind of story type thing. Yeah, I told you Chronicles. I know, right? I've watched it so many times. Like, I've watched these films so many times that they kind of just like wash over me. But yeah. I'm actually going to edit them all together so I don't have to do the individual thing and just make it like the story and see if that changes my mind mm, yeah I think that picture is actually Ashlyn Paul's actual prom photo with her own mother and her <laughs> own prom dress so yeah this is like literally Claire in her first roommate I know right how did her roommate get so get everything up so quickly like that stencil if they're a week early or whatever Okay. At least in the States, anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I never went off to college. I I stayed at home because I was too cheap. <laughs> well, what does he actually... All the way across the country from California. Uh, what does Quentin actually do to afford all this stuff? Is he a professional video gamer? I guess. I don't know. I don't think they thought it through. Hmm. He's so likable. There's a little brave new brave new world Easter egg, I believe. Yeah, so he seems like he's some kind of videographer or something, but yeah. That heat water up to room temperature thing. I think that might be a thing to the unaired pilot where yeah. You've got the picture of the guy doing the, yeah. She she told her on Facebook, like, this is the world they're living in. That's crazy. I know, because it's obviously the, the what's it called hasn't happened yet, the summit meeting, which forced them all into kind of hiding. It kind of seems like it was something that was, like, going on, but not really talked about by people. And it was just something that kind of was underground. But, yeah. There's a kid that's back home a, that's a, that's who breathes water. Something too. Alex Woosley. I've yeah. watched that episode today, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Do you think they were kind of hinting at something between Ali and Quentin? 
He looks so much older than her as well. Yeah, but... I don't think they were going there. Mm. But um, the thing I like about her power is that it seems like it's something completely unique that hasn't happened before. Like rewatching some of the old Heroes episodes, you kind of see like the same powers used over and over again. And this one seems really different and something new. So I'm hoping that's something that comes into the later series that they we get a couple of new like new kind of looking powers. But yeah. Power is kind of cool, though. But yeah, it should have been Robbie Kay's power. <laughs> I like the little yeah, effects. They just released them all together. They were like, oh crap, yeah. we're behind schedule. I know. So oh. this is just like some usual kind of college pranking thing, but I think it's interesting that they do it on an evolution kind of uh, class. Yeah, exactly. Like, Mohinder pops out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> Mohinder's teaching the class, yeah. This is really kind of cool, the kind of the shadows going towards her. And this is something that only kind of gets referenced from now on, like, the nightmares. Do you think that's something to do with her power, like, having to, like, absorbing all the darkness kind of gives her nightmares for some reason? Yeah. There's those powers connected to emotion in the adrenal glands. Oh yeah, and there's camp firewood, which is <laughs> <laughs> which is becoming big now. But yeah, <laughs> like best roommate ever. Yeah. Like, bitch, you better shut the hell up. I'd be like throwing my pillow and just wake up. <laughs> The dark. <laughs> what is she watching? I know. The nightmares again, so it's obviously been happening before. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, you know, I think they. Oh, wait. The darkness, she can feel it. I... I really like their their relationship. This is like the best big brother in the history of TV, right? I know, right? Next to be in Winchester. Sorry, Supernatural fans. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, get Claire Bennett. She's yeah. a specialist counselor. I know, right? It wasn't my fault. Do you reckon that's something to do with her, how their mom passed? <gasps> what if she died in a car crash and, like, Phoebe was, like, free? Like, they got into an argument and, like, went all dark or something. Maybe, like, yeah. Or maybe she, <laughs> maybe she was in the car and, like, the shadows took her out, like Nathan flying in the air. <laughs> <laughs> So it seems like she's going to be taking a little break from using her powers, but obviously it's something that you can't really control all the time because she's at uni or college, so... Stress! Mm. She's like, screw you, Quentin. <laughs> exactly, I'm, I'm away from you now, I can do what I want. <laughs> this is really cool right here. Yeah. That's like a little eclipse, but, you know, maybe maybe something to talk about in a later episode, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was Heroes uh, Reborn Dark Matter webisode, episode two. We hope you've enjoyed our commentary, and uh, we are going to have a big theory crafting uh, episode after we review all these, so... Um, please remember to send in some emails and some Facebook comments because we all want to figure out what the hell is going on here before the show starts. <laughs> uh, 
I think no matter how much we try and figure it out, we're not going to figure it out. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to Heroes Reborn. We here at Prime and Tech Files love listener feedback. If you would like to get a hold of us, we have tons of ways you can do that. You can email us via primatechfiles at gmail.com. You can leave us a private message or interact with our posts over on facebook.com forward slash primatechfiles. We live tweet two episodes per week every Saturday starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For more information, be sure to follow us on Twitter at primatechfiles. You can also find us on Clamor, Tumblr, and YouTube simply by searching for primatechfiles. If you enjoy this podcast, please be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes. What's that? Don't have an iTunes account? That's okay. We can be found on all sorts of podcatcher services, such as Stitcher and SoundCloud. All you have to do is search for, you guessed it, Primatech Files. We are also on Libsyn. To follow our RSS feed there, all you have to do is go to primatechfiles.libsyn.com. Libsyn is spelled I-B-S-Y-N. Dot com and bookmark us to stay up to date with this podcast. We look forward to interacting with you. If you love our podcast, be sure to check out Southgate Media Group's iTunes provider page to see a list of what other podcasts are hot and trending in our network. Or you can take that one step further and visit southgatemediagroup.com where you can find a full list of our 80 plus podcasts along with weekly blogs and information about all the hosts. With so many podcasts that cover everything from anime to wrestling, there's sure to be tons of podcasts that can interest you. Hey guys, you should know by now that you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire. If you have a Tumblr, be sure to check out it's lilhellfire.tumblr.com. And of course, be sure to swing by my blog if you are a pop culture junkie or comic book geek at littlepopculturevulture.blogspot.com. I also host several other podcasts on the Southgate Media Group Network. Some of them are Queen Consolidated and Channel 52. So if you are into, obviously, DC comic book related stuff, be sure to check it out. You can find my writings at tvbinges.com. It's a place for all your binge watching needs and you can also create your own TV binge and we'll help promote it. We do a monthly binge watch, which you're more than welcome to join in. Just go to their Twitter at tvbinges just to find out more information. Find me on Twitter at Ricky J Diaz. That's R-I-C-K-Y-J-D-I-A-Z or Z if you're American. Keep the rebellion alive.